こんにちは皆さんお元気ですか Hello, how are you? Today culture video number 16 and I'm going to talk about what Japanese people eat on New Year's Eve. We eat o s o b a or only s o b a o is with respect. o s o b a this is Japanese noodle, a long noodle. It's quite similar to spaghetti. Well, you can eat o s o b a all year round. But especially this night, the New Year's Eve, we eat osoba. Before explaining with pictures, I'm gonna talk about some vocabularies. Omisoka. Omisoka, this is New Year's Eve. Well, this kanji, o, this means big. Miso, in this case, omisoka. But this kanji, we usually pronounce ban. Ban, it means evening. Like, こんばんは evening. And the last one, this is he, the date, the day. おみそか so the big evening day. Like this. But おみそか New Year's Eve. 年越しそば年越しそば Well, this means ear crossing noodle. 年 it means ear. 腰 this comes from the verb. こします。こします。it means to cross or to get across or to pass. And そば。so this means the そば that we eat to cross the ear. There are many kinds how you can eat そば。but this ざるそば or もりそば、this is very popular one. and at least in my family, the traditions to eat ざるそば。As Toshikoshi Soba and also my, my sister's family. So, Zaru Soba and Mori Soba, those two are quite similar. Only difference is Zaru Soba, this is with Nori. Nori is seaweed and Mori Soba without seaweed. And also, in Zaru Soba, this word Zaru, this is woven、um, bamboo tray. So, when there are Soba on This bamboo tray, this is zar soba, and mori soba, it can be on any kind of plate. Men to you, soba to you. Men to you, well, this men, it means Japanese noodle. So, men to you, it means Japanese noodle soup base, soup base. But in the case for the soba, then we say soba to you. Soba means buckwheat. Usually, soba is a thin Japanese noodle made from buckwheat. The noodles are served either chilled with a dipping sauce or hot in a noodle soup. In Japan, soba noodles can be found in a variety of settings from fast food places to expensive specialty restaurants. Markets Sell dried noodles and men to you, but we say soba to you for soba dishes、mm-hmm. or instant noodle broth to make home preparation easy. This is zaru soba and it's very typical toshikoshi soba. Ear crossing noodle, Japanese traditional dish on New Year's Eve. This custom let us go off hardship of the year. Because soba noodles are easily cut while eating. The tradition started around Edo period. There are several traditions that long soba noodles symbolize a long life. The buckwheat plant can survive severe weather during its growth period. So, soba represents strength and resilience. The soba is often served on a sieve like bamboo tray called a zaru, sometimes garnished with bits of dried nori seaweed with a dipping sauce known as soba tsuyu on this side. The soba tsuyu is made of a strong mixture of dashi, sweetened soy sauce, and mirin. Using chopsticks, The diner picks up a small amount of soba from the tray and dips it in the cold tsuyu before eating it. 
sobako. With the last kanji, this one, we say kona. Kona, but here we pronounce ko. Kona, it means powder. Powder. So sobako, this is the powder of soba. Well, sobako, this means buckwheat. Buckwheat is a plant cultivated for its grain-like seeds and as a cover crop. The name buckwheat is used by several other species, such as a domesticated food, food plant raised in Asia. Despite its name, buckwheat is not closely related to wheat. It is not a cereal, nor is it even a member of the grass family. Buckwheat is related to sorrel, nutweed, and rhubarb. Buckwheat has triangular seeds and produces a flower that is usually white, but can also be pink or sometimes even yellow. This first one, namamen, namamen. Well, this nama, this is the kanji from sensei, sei, or umaremas, the, to, to be born, to get born. Well, nama, but here we pronounce nama, and it means raw. For example, if I say nama tamago, tamago is egg. So nama tamago, it means raw egg. In this case, nama men. Men is Japanese noodles. So nama men is the, 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 the raw, raw noodle. So now let's see how the professionals make this nama men. Rolling out the dough using a rolling pin. Here we can see how to cut soba and boil them. If you live in foreign countries, it's very difficult to eat namamen. Namamen in a good restaurants in Japan. But we can buy kanmen. This is quite easy. Kan, this means kan. It means uh, dry. So kanmen, dry noodles. And also we've got sokseki men. Sokseki men, sokseki is instant, instant. So instant noodle, sokseki men. Dashi has got very important role in Japanese cooking. Dashi, this is like a Japanese soup stock. One of the ingredients to make dashi is katsuobushi. Katsuo, this is the fish. This is bonito. Katsuobushi. Katsuobushi is this one. Like this. And this is dry bonito. Dry bonito flake. And inside they are like this. And this is katsuobushi. And it's very delicious. For example, if you eat okonomiyaki or takoyaki, we use this katsuobushi. And also cats love katsuobushi. For example, now my cat is a little bit sick, so I have to give her some medicine. And it's very, very difficult to give some medicines to the cat. But I, <laughs> I put this one, katsuobushi, and I have a mixture with the medicine. Then my cat can have this medicine with this katsuobushi, because this is so... The cats love katsuobushi. And a very important ingredient for dashi is this one, kombu. Kombu, I got here, like this. This kombu is from Hokkaido, and very famous in kombu in Hokkaido, very delicious. And I've got other kombu, it's like this, and you cannot eat like this because it's too hard. But if you put this in the water, and you boil it, and the soup is very delicious with the, the kombu flavor. Kombu is kelp in English. And the mm, it smells like a nature. It smells like the sea. The other important ingredient is mirin. Mirin, this is sweetened Japanese sake. So I don't have mirin, but you can buy mirin. And I do, <laughs> I make mirin in my own way. Because here, the, for example, I live in Spain, so white wine is quite, uh, white wine for cooking is very cheap. 
So this white wine, uh, even if that's from rice, it's from the grapes. White wine and with sugar. Then that is meaning. But I think, well, sugar, it's not so, not so healthy. So I, I use the honey, honey in honey with this uh, wine, white wine. Then it's a little bit similar to mirin in my style. Anyway, it's too much, too much work to make dashi at home. So nowadays we can buy these kind of things. Dashi. Inside we've got like this and you can put on the boiled water. Then we can make Japanese soup with dashi. Another very important ingredient for Japanese cooking is oshoyu. Oshoyu or only shoyu. This is soy sauce like this. And I think it's very, very easy that you can get it in anywhere. Tempura. Tempura. This thing, this kanji ten, it means heaven. Tempura, it's, it matches so well with soba. In the right, you can see kanmen. In this way, we can buy them in supermarket. It's easier to make at home. And in the middle and in the left part, this is tempura soba. It is topped with tempura. A large shrimp frequently is used, but vegetables are also popular. There are lots of varieties to eat soba. For example, this one is zaru soba, but with tempura, we can eat like this too. Now I'm going to talk about topping. Topping that matches with soba. Negi. In kanji and hiragana and katakana. In many occasions, we use with katakana. Negi, this is green onion. So you can garnish with chopped green onion. Negi, nori. This is Japanese seaweed. I think you saw nori. Because this is used in many occasions in sushi like this. Hmm? This is nori. It's very delicious if you keep it very dry. So I have this, this one, but if you don't have this kind of bag, I'm sure you've got aluminium foil. So you wrap with aluminium foil and even you can keep them in, in not refrigerator, but in freezer. In this way, nori is always delicious. The other very delicious one is this one, shichimi togarashi. This literally means seven flavored, seven flavored chili pepper. But in foreign countries, in many occasions, it is written like nanami. But this kanji, we pronounce shichimi. So the, the pronunciation way, the correct way is shichimi. Okay. Shichimi togarashi. I like this one very much and I just finished eating it. So I can't show you, but it's very delicious. As the name say, shichimi togarashi, seven flavor. So there are lots of things inside. For example, the one is the, the normal chili pepper, so the red one. And also the second one, Japanese chili pepper. Sansho. This is sansho, but this is also inside of this shichimi togarashi. And roasted orange peel. And uh, black and white sesame. Sesame, the sesame seed, it can be black and white, and so both are included there. And hemp seed. Um, and nori that I showed you before, the nori seaweed and seaweed laver. Seaweed laver is nori and also puppy seed. And also it can be contained the ground ginger. So all together is here in shichimi togarashi. Sesame also matches to Japanese noodle. Here I wrote kuro goma. This is black sesame. But also white sesame is okay. Shiro goma, white. Here the kanji of kuro, goma, sesame. Black sesame. Here's the picture of two examples how to eat soba 
in hot way with hot dashi. And in the right side, we can see red color pepper. This is shichimi togarashi. And also negi is very important ingredient. You can use many things as you, as you wish. One of the varieties is how to eat soba or udon. It's this one, tsukimi soba or tsukimi udon. But look at these kanjis. Tsuki, this means the moon, the moon. Mi, it comes from mimas, mimas to watch. So, watching the moon, <laughs> tsukimi soba. This is a picture of moon soba, tsukimi soba. Boiled soba put in a bowl and sometimes after putting nori, dried seaweed to resemble gathering clouds, cracking a raw egg into it. Well, I don't like it so much, but anyway. And adding soup, very hot soup, and condiments. They are called tsukimi soba. Soba is really healthy food because it is good source of manganese and also other minerals such as zinc, potassium, phosphorus, iron, and also good source of tiamine. Tiamine is also known as vitamin B1, and it is needed for energy metabolism and healthy cell growth and function. Also high in protein and high in soluble, soluble fiber and supports cardiovascular health and helps control blood sugar and low in fat without any cholesterol, free of gluten and prebiotic food. Before ending this video, I want to tell you how to say Happy New Year in two ways and very different occasions. And in the end of this video, there will be the Japanese listening. So please stay till the end. Yoyotoshio. This means Happy New Year, but to say goodbye. Because yoyotoshio, it means the best wishes for the entrance of the new year. So the last day that we can say this, yoyotoshio, this till the omisoka. Omisoka, it means New Year's Eve. So just before the entrance of the new year. But once new year has arrived, new year, it is oshogatsu. Then we say, shinnen omedetou gozaimasu. Or, akemashite. Or both. If you liked this video about Osoba, please give me a like. And if you can share my videos with your friends, that will help me a lot. Please, please. And if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please do it. And now listen to me in Japanese. Kyowa Osoba Nitsuite Hanasasetitakimashita. Nihonjiwa Omisokani Osoba Taber Shukangarimas. あなたの国ではどんな習慣がありますかもしこのビデオが気に入ってくださったらぜひいいねボタンを忘れないでくださいそしてチャンネル登録や高評価ボタンもどうぞお願いいたしますではこれからお正月になりますねぜひ良いお